Thank you so much for uh, coming tonight. Um, thank you to Kim Mahler for inviting Woo! me to read. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you all for coming to support the International Poetry Library. Um, really just happy to be supporting this group and to be part of it. So um, this first poem that I'm going to start out with is uh, called Mortuos Lingua, um, which was inspired by a quote uh, from the Endangered Language Fund, um, which states that there are currently 6,000 languages spoken in the world, and at least half are projected to disappear in this century. Um, words are minds and chameleons, decrepit castles, shepherds who have lost their flocks. Words are wounded animals flanked by predators. They are vagrants begging for money. They are lost tunes and off-key harmonies. Words are jewels plundered from tombs. They are migrants, refugees driven from countries. Words are ships sunk at sea, pendulums, answers idling in time. Words are extant ideas and reasons, are nomads crossing continents, fugitives in hiding, lovers bereft at graves. They are temples leveled by harsh climates. Words are cultures sullied by lies. They are sick children walking without shoes. They are bodies uncounted, histories not witnessed. Words flood and burn in disasters. Words age and wither in wisdom. Words are lands degraded, churches emptied, idols raised and torn down. Words are armies conquered, vows relinquished. Words are warriors without weapons. Words are guns aimed and whispered pleas. Voices silenced when asked to speak. Um, this next poem is called On Advice from Hippocrates. Um, he had lots of advice. Um, uh, this particular bit of advice was, to do nothing is also a good remedy. To think our love floated above empty hospital beds, when your name on my lips was the first morning of a beginning, a slip of music released into a hallway where one end was blue sky, the other colorless, and we balancing a center between two melodies. To think fevers could blow from lungs in single exhalations, grit and salt pooled on sheets, flint scattered bits of parsed rage taken far by far winds, the embers of your insides, tiny stars cool to ash. To think we slept as though sleep was fight enough against plague, was prayer enough against time? When there was nothing to do but guide, glide my fingers along your sweating face and say, do on a plum? To think ridding the day of sun meant night was a long drink of cold water, meant your belly held any and all food. To think there was no omen in undressed trees, in birds silent for several seasons, in your body's calm beauty sinking into its own inner siege, its own asylum. I'm just going to be read uh, one more, uh, just a very short kind of introspective poem. Um, this is called Perspective. The depth 
of water fills a river. You can bear much. All your life you have given in, given up. <coughs> Woods, roads, grasses, distant streets. Each sound glissando notes of a waterfall past gone. Lie down in the grass, feel the weight of you. You were born, are yet to be born. Thank you.